Seeing her by herself like that makes her look short. <laughs> hey guys, this is Tyler at Titan1993, and this is my extended review and reaction to Nina's solo debut of I Am a Woman 2, Naro Yoja Yeyo. So as I was sitting here watching this music video and you know, observing all of these actions that Nina is taking, it's like I'm thinking, okay, sultry, sultry. This song is on the slow side of things. It could kind of be like a ballad, but not really because it's on the up tempo you know, side because she's also doing this choreography where she's like doing it. Her chest rows and her pelvic thrusting, a little bit very. It's, it's with the um, uh, the chest rows. So, yeah. So it indeed is a sad song because she is saying, "I love you, I love you, I love you." But then, like, she's she's gonna say, "I love you," but the man is not gonna like reciprocate any love for what reason? I have no idea. But you know. This article on Sophia is saying it's about a one-sided love, and if that's the case, then she's trying to extend this um, relationship to be something that she knows it cannot be. And with that, if it can't be, then it can't be, but she can't get over it because she really likes this guy, and which is typical, and which is okay, but you know, if the guy doesn't want the girl, then that's unfortunate for the guy and the girl because the guy is missing out on a great girl and the girl is gonna be feeling lonely like Mina. So, you know, this there's some emotional struggle here that Mina is trying to express. It's particularly not really my type of song, but I can definitely, you know, feel what Mina is feeling. And I think as a soloist, uh, with this type of vocals, uh, strong vocals and emotional vocals, it's something that Mina really showed um, to her best on a great scale. And I think she did pretty well with it, given this concept of being lonely, being a one-sided love, and she did that real well. It shows well also in the choreography. And I think this is, was pretty a good, um, not, it's not a great like so, uh, debut, like Hyo Sun's um, uh, debut with Goodnight Kiss. But this is like, you know, just because of the nature of the song, it's basically great for that type of song and with her vocals especially you know Mina has great vocals she can do it well and she's done it well she delivered it pretty well in my opinion and basically did a great job so overall I think Mina for this t um, particular genre for this particular concept for this particular feel and emotion she did a great job indeed and I th it's um, the music video was interesting to watch because she has all of these things going on she has all these different outfits that she spent the time to put on to show exactly how she felt and I think it was a music video and song that was well spent, well made, well sung and hoping to see more from Mina in the future but we have to see how Girls Day did when they made their comeback and then we'll maybe see if Dream Tea did another, do, does another um, solo for Mina. So that's it for my review on Mina's I Am A Woman 2. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, that's okay. But feel free to leave your suggestions as to what music videos you guys want me to react to in the comments below or on my Twitter at Titan1993. And if you like, you can share this video, that would be much appreciated by me. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next reaction video. Annyeong! And Gia also looking cute back there as well.